investor mistakes that cost millions. How did these investors lost or didn't make millions of dollars because of very simple mistakes? That's today's episode. Hello everyone, this is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto real estate agent and mortgage broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage. And today I'm going to show you bad decisions, unfortunate decisions that investors made that cost them millions and millions of dollars. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, YouTube.com slash Yossi Kaplan. Thank you everyone, everyone for watching, liking, disliking, commenting. It's very, very important. If you can subscribe, like, dislike, make a comment, it's really, really helpful because it puts it in the algorithm and other people can share the knowledge. And there's lots and lots of knowledge I've been posting here. It's all free. Uh, just watch it. Okay. Um, UrbanRealtyToronto.com. This is my main website. And the first article you'll see right here is the Keeley Condos. And you can see studios start at three seventy five nine ninety. One bed four forty six. One plus then five twenty. Two bed five ninety two nine ninety and up. Uh, and when you go here, uh, it'll open for you and you can see the entire article. And I put a lot of effort into making this article really good. Now, obviously, these numbers are true to the time of posting. Uh, so you got to call me to ask me for what's available. I do have access to a hot list. Uh, this is true to the time of posting, build information, what is the key, why you should do it there, closing caps, all the incentives. It's a really good project. And the reason I'm, the reason I'm looking here is because it's got a lot of value in my opinion and you remember I told you you need to invest in value not in price to invest in value not location you can invest in value more than anything so when you focus on value and value means value to you as an investor and value to the next person after you will be living in that unit whether they're renting from you or bought it from you that's what you want to look at value so to me Keely has value because the location is good the design is good the floor plans are correct the prices are real the amenities are very good uh, of course it's sitting across from a huge huge park the dance you park here so and at these prices you know you can still grab a unit for under 400 in the GTA uh, and not only in the GTA in a 416 and when you look at the floor plans they're very reasonable floor plans now the question is people come to me and say well it's not downtown that's true, it's not downtown, but how many of the 13 million people that live in Toronto live downtown? How many of the 35 million people in Canada live downtown Toronto? Not very, not very many, you know. It's, it's all relative. If you live downtown, it's all good and dandy, but now you're paying 1100 for a used place or 13 to $1,800 a foot for a new place. And, of course, the rents are not going to be much more than if you rented here, you know. So the two-bedroom here I will get you so much. Downtown, it's not going to get you... You know, downtown price is going to be double than this, but the rent's not going to be double. So the ROI is actually shrinking downtown and it's moving to outside of the towns. So the number one investor, number one, and the only mistake investors make really is they do not understand value. But we're going to break it down into subsection. I can show, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so <clears throat> the first thing is location. It's always location. A lot of people complain about, you know, I want to be downtown but then they can't afford downtown, or even if they do, they don't understand when you invest downtown, you're really competing with thousands and thousands of other people that have more money than you. Moreover, let's say a lot of these buyers are from Asia, from China, okay? Let's say 50% in the buyers in the, that huge tower that you bought, it has 800 units, 400 units are from China, at least, okay? That means that if anything happened in China, and we know China can be down any moment, like it's, 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 it's very tricky there, um, if China goes down, even by a couple of percentages, that means that billions and billions of dollars, trillions of billions are just erased, evaporated. And all these people that bring money from China cannot bring it to Toronto. They're going to have to fire sale everything, maybe not be able to close. What's that going to do to you? you know, what's that going to do to the value of your unit? It can plummet because if you invest in a big tower and suddenly half of the investor in the tower can't close, that's a big problem. Okay, So I always look for properties which are unique and offer unique value that I can find and I'm going to be shielded. You know, I don't want to invest in a giant building with a thousand units because that's the problem. What if all these people come from the same place and they're all drawing the salaries from the same place and then they all lose their money? Everyone's screwed, okay? So the number one secret of professional real investor investors is to go for value, okay? And the number one secret of the people that are not investing properly is they do not understand value. Uh, the three L's, investing like a boss, that's an amazing video. And he talks about the longevity, livability, you know, all these L's. You watch it for yourself. 
that make make your investment good for a long time. It's very very important. Okay, it's very very important. Um, there's another one I want to show you here. So if I go to where was that? Oh yeah, here. Do a search on Google for Yossi Kaplan 150 Red Path. Okay, and then um, it'll come with this article from uh, Europe Free Luxury here. And I posted the prices, so let's look at these prices. This is going back to 2014, I think, maybe 2014 probably. So about five, five and a half years ago. And I wrote, you thank me later. So was I right? This is a free project. Best prices, additional price discount, one year free maintenance, all the, all the good stuff. Look at this. Two bad, two bed, two bath, high floor, southwest corner, 21st floor from 534.9. You could have gotten this beautiful corner unit Okay, this beautiful corner unit for $535,000, almost 800 square feet. Watch this, 535,000 divided by 794, that's without, about 673 a foot. Okay, let's say this unit is selling now for 1100 a foot. So 1100 less 673, that's 427 per foot that the unit went up in value. 427 a foot, okay? And we have 794 square feet, so theoretically we made $340,000. And let's divide it by the price, 535. So we made 63% on the unit. Let's say we got the keys three years ago. 21%. And this is this is 21%, this is gross, but the actual amount we invested is only 20%. Of that uh, 534, so 535 times 0.2. So we actually put $107,000. Obviously, I'm, I'm ignoring the closing cost, the occupancy. Even if I add it in, it's not going to make a difference. Okay, so 107. That's a, that's a fifth of 535. Um, but remember, my profit was what was my profit there again? 1100 minus 673, 427 times. 794 so the profit was 339 divide by 107 so I made uh, 3.1 that's another problem here 107 3, 3, 4, divide by 107 yeah three times three times so I made uh, three times my investment <laughs> 312 percent by three years that's a hundred percent it means I made I put the 107 and every year I made an extra 107 if you want to amortize it. That is insane. Where else can you find this type of thing? So if you did this deal, you'd be very, very happy because you made crazy money. You put $107,000 of your own plus the closing cost and now it's worth 330, 340,000 more, tripled your investment. Okay, because the power of leverage. Uh, you can also get a unit for 420, 435, Okay, that's a nice unit too. Very good plans, by the way. Uh, one plus then from 328 on the third floor. This thing will probably be worth about half a million bucks now, okay? So let's say I only pay, pay half a million bucks for this unit. Okay, less than a thousand a foot, 549 square feet, right? Yeah. So I paid for 329, say 330. 550, I'm just gonna round everything. So 600 a foot, even. Let's say this unit is only a thousand a foot. That's four hundred dollar a foot profit times five fifty. That's two hundred twenty thousand dollar profit. Now remember, I only pay a fifth of the three thirty. So what's a fifth of that? Uh, Sixty something, right? Three thirty divided by five. Sixty six. Sixty six. And uh, I made uh, five fifty times. Say I appreciate by four hundred. 2200 so I made uh, two, uh, $220,000 profit over $66,000 that's 3.33 return 333% return over three years more or less so I made about $70,000 every year on this unit in appreciation plus of course my carrying costs go to the condo uh, Go to the condo calculator, name, email, I'm not a robot, download the spreadsheet. It's right here. And then you can look, one, you know, 549 square feet. Let's say I pay 330 for the unit. So I'll pay 601. That's why it was a 328,990. 
to make it 600, 599, whatever. I paid about 66,000 uh, dollars here. Here's my, uh, so my carrying cost about 19, 1900 more or less. So, you know, even if I only get $2,000 for the unit, I broke even and I'm doing well, plus the appreciation. Obviously, if you pay, now what I can do, I can do the same thing here. Uh, but let's say I paid uh, 500 for the unit. So 911 a foot. For, so my mortgage is 400. Obviously, my maintenance is the same. Now, the tax should be the same. You know, because it's the same unit, but just for sake of argument, 2600 a month. Now, if I only get the same 2150, I'm losing this money. So, had I had the option of buying this unit and I didn't buy it, I lost $520 a month. I lost $6,200 uh, a year. I could have made all this money and I could have made all this appreciation, but I didn't do it. And do you know how many people actually didn't do this deal? They had the email and didn't do it. So why not? You know, many reasons, but when you see, you know, real estate is, and I'm going to tell you something kind of crazy, but it's true. Real estate is a very personal thing. When you go to a dentist, you don't like tell the dentist how to, how to be better. When you go to the uh, lawyer, you don't tell them how to be better. When you go to the accountant, you don't know how to do it. But when you go to a real estate guy, me, anyone else, everyone always knows better. And when everyone knows better, they end up making not the best decisions because it's not based on 20 years of experience like your dentist does or your lawyer does or your real estate agent does. It's based on stuff you read in the Toronto Star. And unfortunately, all media has a bias. Um, what you got to do is you got to look at the real numbers and do the numbers yourself if you have that kind of time. Or you can come to someone like me, a professional person. But that's all we do. You know, We look at investment condos every single day. Uh, if you need to sell, if you need to buy, if you need to assign, if you want to buy something, ask me and I'll help you out. There's a lot of ways to find value. <clears throat> you know, there's value in resale. I'll show you something really cool. So this is uh, yossi.searchfield.co. I'm going to do a wide search for all of the Toronto. Here we go. And now we're going to set some filters to filter out uh, what's not residential. I'm just going to look at... Can I find any value in Toronto? So the map's drawing and it's limited here. For the 401, which is fine, it's large enough. So let's start filtering. First of all, we'll put one bath to uh, make sure nothing without a bath comes in. So it could be parking, locker, commercial property. Ah, computer is slow. Okay, now I'm going to set the minimum price at 300 and the max at 4. Obviously, I'm killing all the downtown, but that's okay because I'm looking for value. But look at this, so many units. Now I'm going to look at uh, only, uh, I'm going to start looking here at the filter. So I'm going to hit the condo. Okay, so condo is not used. Leave it. Condo apartment. Okay, lots of them. Condo townhouse. I look at the numbers. That's numbers up. Condo this one didn't really work. Good enough for now. I'm going to start searching on these, okay? And now I'm going to start hitting this number over and over again. So here's, uh, for example, 60 Heinzman. So that's, uh, if you know that building, it's actually, it's a really nice building. And it's at Keel and Dundas, so next to the stockyards where the Home Depot is and the Canadian Tire. And there's a lot of new stuff coming in, in there. And all the new stuff coming in there, coming at a thousand a foot, maybe more. Okay, look at uh, Junction. So we're not too far from the Junction here. We're kind of before Junction, if you want. And this is 399 for, say, about 500 square feet. 600 square feet, somewhere in between. It's a good building. I've been in there. Ninth floor. It's got a parking. It's got a locker. Um, the taxes are pretty cheap. They're about 150 a month less, 140 a month. And the uh, condo fees are 260 So about $400 a month to carry the unit. $400 a month to carry the unit. You can even pop that in the condo calculator if you wanted. I'll put it here. So on the west end, I had something already. And uh, let's say it's 550 square feet. And let's say I get this unit for 400000 Now that includes parking locker, 727 a foot. So this unit. And here I got 468 for the maintenance. But in reality, this unit, you saw, it actually carries for 260 And the tax is much less. So i got to give myself uh, a discount here. So I'm just going to change this number. Until it gets to 260. Very cheap maintenance fees here. 
something like that. And here, I'm going to bring this down a little bit more just to kind of give you an idea of where I am. Okay, that's, so that's more or less reasonable now. So this unit will run about 1900 a month. Okay, uh, 1900 a month. So first of all, 1900 a month, or I need $3.5 a foot. This is all done from the counter calculator. Just put the numbers in the yellow and it shows you the results. So let's say I get to break even, you know, I just get 2000 a month, which is parking a locker. Um, that's pretty good. So now I'm, I'm, I'm just about breaking even at 2000 a month. Everything over. Let's say I rented the parking separately. Let's say I got 2200 for this unit. Uh, so I'm starting to make money. So even at 2200, I'm already making about 3,000 a, uh, a year, 274 a month. So these are, it's possible. It's possible to do it, but you got to look for the deals. And what a lot of investors do and lose the millions is they, they just don't run the numbers. They don't do simple stuff. Um, they base their decisions on hearsay, advice from other losing investors. They buy the inside corner, you know. Uh, the, the best thing I can do for you is, of course, talk to you. So give me a call and um, watch the Twitter. Everything that I post, whatever it is, it all funnels to the Twitter. So you can follow here. Almost 2,200 followers. Thank you very much. Uh, some of these also go in my uh, in my LinkedIn. So you can follow on LinkedIn. I don't really log in, but it posts in there. And I think we got uh, 2,401 followers. So that's pretty good. It's 2,400 on uh, LinkedIn and 22 on uh, Twitter and many more on uh, the other media. There's thousands of people watching these videos. Okay, so there are opportunities, but uh, you got to open your eyes. you got to understand that if you're going for the downtown, the price is going to be high. Competition is going to be huge. Uh, if the market in China drops, you're going to drop because China is buying downtown. China is obsessed with downtown Toronto. China is obsessed with buy the subway. And it's, it's not necessarily the best decision to make. And a lot of people have lost and will lose money going by these principles because they're spending too much money in an area which everyone else has more money and you're competing with people that can afford losing. Why they can afford losing? Because to them, it's better to take the money out of their home countries um, before the West will try and like you know club them. So a lot of people will just, I'd rather take the money out of there and bring it to Canada, which I deem safer. And even if it costs me 10% more, I don't care because it can cost me everything back home. So where, um, so don't invest where these people are. Invest elsewhere. There's lots of places to invest. Tons. Tons. Um, but a lot of people are just stuck. Um, the other thing is, if you're going to pay you know, $1,300 a foot, it's okay. And I sent, uh, earlier this week, I sent an uh, email regarding uh, Keeley, but also sent a couple downtown that I found. It was uh, 123 Portland. I thought it was fantastic, actually. I really like it. Um, and if you want to look at it, just go to uh, torontocondensforsale.com. Go to the projects. Very, very good projects. I'm really impressed. Minto, it's a small boutique project. I think it's got huge potential. I like the smaller buildings. Almost no investors. Almost no investors in this building. You know, instead of arguing about nickel and diming and try to get like two thousand dollar here or there, that's not the point. The point is like you're gonna make if you're gonna make like quarter million dollars in one unit, think big, think really big. How can I maximize the opportunity? Because when you're shrinking, you know, I'm just worried about the thousand dollar today, not really keeping my eyes on the prize, which is this unit can double itself in eight years. So if I spend $800,000 here, how long till it make it to 1.6 million? Don't forget that 800,000 you spend, only 20% of it actually is your money. Only a fifth of that is your money. So 160,000, something like that, 200,000. So if you want to have something really classy downtown, to me, that's a really good option. And if you call me, I'll let you know what's available. I know the developer, maybe we can give us a little deal. Now, it is a seller's market, so sometimes they say, you know, that's what we're offering right now. Take it or leave it, because we're selling anyways. That's totally fine. But the opportunities are there if you want to see them. If you ignore the opportunities, but you're still buying, you're probably buying into lesser performing properties, and you're just not going to do as well, you may even lose money because you pay too much for a place where everyone else around you 
don't care to lose a bit of money because they're not looking at break-even point. They're looking at save my money from another place. And you cannot compete with that. So don't go there. Go where the people that want to have good value are and focus on those properties. And there's a lot of... Um, I'm jumping here back to the resale market. You're going to find... you know, There's a lot of properties here. Obviously, these are all the buildings because I'm searching in such a low area here. Um, if I were to increase the price range, okay, if I were to uh, increase the price range, I'm probably going to see something else. For example, I'm just going to bring it to, let's kill all the studios and see what happens. One plus, I still get a lot of units, but they're still going to be in maybe all the buildings. But you know, hey, that's a good location, middle of the highway. That could be a good location. I saw a unit at uh, 181. Um, uh, what is it called by the bell place there and that was listed at $3.99 obviously multiple bids sold for $5.05 uh, a couple of days ago these things are happening they're happening you know you, you got to search the market and see what's available and start teaching yourself what you can do with the budget you have now you can also get that amount $400,000 and invest it just outside of Toronto proper and maybe get even fantastic value for that unbelievable value for that Okay, but you got to do the work, and the best thing to do is obviously to get a professional on your side. I mean, you're not going to fix your own teeth, you're not going to cut your own hair, you're not going to file your own document to the court, you're going to spend half a million dollars, have a professional with you. I think it's the smartest thing you can do. If you, and I, I guarantee you, most of the investors are not making any money, is they just got bad advice. You know, there's a lot of people who are very good salespeople, and they'll sell you anything. And they make you feel really good about it, but in reality, they do not understand the market, and that's going to be a problem. So, pop into the housing market charts. I'm going to finish in a second, it's enough for today. And this will give you a great idea of what's going on in the market and why, if you're not investing in Toronto, you probably need to invest outside of Toronto. In outside of Toronto is uh, Oakville, Etobicoke, Hamilton. That's my number one. And to a lesser degree, Kitchener, Guelph, Waterloo. And then there's Brantford. And then there's everywhere else. Uh, Mississauga, of course. Vaughan. Young and Egg. Young and Shepherd. Young and Steels. All along the new subway lines. All along the future transportation. Look at 2019, okay? In the orange. You can see what's going on here. It's a huge jump every month. So 2019 just beats everything. There you go. There was a little peak, and then we came down, and we're going to go back up fast. Okay, 2019 is going to break all the records, and I think 2020 you'll see a new world record for Toronto. Uh, there's just not enough units. Can't build them fast enough. A lot of people coming in town. They come in either it's from Ontario, smaller towns, most probably from immigration, some from other provinces, uh, but most probably coming from other uh, immigration. And if you want to come to Canada with immigration, you better pay. So you get the money out of your home country. It's in US dollars. You exchange it here. You get 35% bonus and you go shopping. Uh, and if you have your PR card, you don't have to pay that 50%. And if one person in the family has PR card, the family can send the money in and they can start buying more. And that's probably, I, I, mean, I don't have the numbers, but I would imagine that that's just a logical way of doing things. And, uh, you know, you have to have some money to come to Canada. So there you go, my friends. Um, if you're looking to buy, sell, assign, give me a call. Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage. Uh, watch the YouTube. Thank you very much for watching, liking, disliking, commenting, subscribing. Hit the bell. Uh, please share these. Even if you just like it, there's no effort required, or put a comment, even say just thank you, or great, or didn't like it, it really helps because it helps the YouTube algorithm, shows more and more and more. <laughs> ah, it's going to be loud. That's the city. But remember, it's not going to stop. We live in an inflationary economy, so download the content calculator, get the tools. Um, remember, what was that 150, 150 red pass? But remember that red path example, how some people, they invested $60,000,
okay, and they made 300,000. And that's true to Young and Middleton, that's true to Kingsway, it was 800 a foot. Uh, art shop, we, we're still doing assignments there at like 1,000 a foot. You know, you can still get something in the art shop for 1,000 a foot. And yes, you'll get your keys soon, but that's maybe better, because why would you spend $1,300 a foot? And you got to be able to close on it. You can't just assume you're going to be flipping it. Madison was even cheaper. I think 600 a foot at the top. On and on and on. Okay, you know what to do. Give me a call when you're ready. Thank you. That's it.